I just went up as close as I could to him and asked him, Mr. Hooper, why'd you choke that woman? Why did you choke her? Why'd you kill her? And he had nothing to say. He looked right at me and you could see in his face, just a hang dog expression. We covered this just terrible story about a 77 year old woman who, out of the kindness of her own heart, was trying to help a man from her neighborhood who has some problems with drugs and alcohol. She kind of took him in and unfortunately for her, he began to take advantage not long after. When I got there and I spoke to the police first, I got a sense of what was going on and then I figured it's an attached house. Her neighbor must have heard exactly what happened. And I went and I heard from uh, Grace McPherson, her neighbor in the attached house, says the night before she heard Eleonora say to Mr. Hooper, bring my keys back here right now. And he ignored her and went and jumped in the car and drove away and was out all night. Mrs. McPherson also was kind enough to let me know that Andre Hooper was running a dollar cab service. That's how he was making money, using the victim's GMC without her permission and getting all sorts of tickets and violations attached to the license plate. He was using her car and running it up and down Church Avenue in Brooklyn, picking people up, doing a dollar van service. So he was out all night with that car. And then the next morning, the car was back in the driveway at 10 a.m. Sometime between 10 and six, Eleonora was killed. Apparently, his mother, who lives in the neighborhood, had come by Eleonora's house to give him some change and found him sitting there with her dead body. The mother, after a few hours, had called the police, but the body had been there for hours and hours. When he was taken in at that time, he was taken in as a person of interest. And later on that evening, sometime after midnight, he was charged with her murder. So I went to the, what we call a perp walk. That was the first time anybody got a, a chance to look at him. Andre, anything to say? So Andre Hooper was remanded. He's being held without bail and we're gonna have to wait for the first day of his trial. When it comes to remanding someone for a seriously violent crime that shows they would be an ongoing danger to the community at large, the judge has the ability to remand the suspect, to not offer him bail. And in this particular case, this crime was so heinous, so unthinkable. He allegedly beat up and choked out a 77 year old woman with early onset Alzheimer's. And from what we understand, a very small, very frail woman. And he was cold enough to beat her to death. The judge believed that the facts in this case warranted remand. So if you're riveted by these kinds of stories, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be kept in the loop on all the stories we're covering for the New York Post, Go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.